God. Overexposed. It's better. It's a lovely, uh, lovely day in the UK today. Just doing a random, <laughs> random live video. Not very well organised. I thought I'd publish it straight away. Uh, spring is sprung in the UK. It's been a lovely day today. It's just gone a bit overcast. But we've had beautiful blue skies and uh, no, no aeroplane trails today. See the oak trees looking gorgeous. Everything's come green again. Beautiful blue skies, those are real clouds as well. So, uh, anyway, that wasn't why I was making the video. <coughs> but just wanted to show you that, because show you how pretty it looked. All these little flowers. Those are forget-me-nots. And the garden needs cutting again. Right, so um, the reason I'm making a live video is because my phone memory has run out, as usual. Or well, it's maxed out anyway. So let's go and have a look at the, uh, the post I got today. Dun, dun, dun. So here I am in the office. Right, so I've got a nice box here. Came in the post today and I thought I'd unbox it for you, but while we're while we're in the office. Nice little view from my bedroom. But I'll show you my latest painting. So that's an acrylic painting I've been working on. And that is a scene from the um, Bembridge Fort Walk on the Isle of Wight. Painted from a photograph. Took me about 30 hours to paint that. <clears throat> and this is my next project. And that's a pencil sketch of Devon Lorat arm wrestling. And he says getting bigger. Cool. Right. So my voice is a bit funny. I didn't really plan this video. <coughs> One of my subscribers, Joe, asked me to make more Japanese antique videos. So uh, I thought I'd make this for him. But uh, what I normally do is I stream it live and then make it unlisted rather than publish it immediately. So that uh, unboxes. Unbox this Noritake for Joe. Let's see what it looks like. So, uh, forgive me if I sound a bit funny. There we go. That should be all right. It's because I haven't planned the video and I'm a bit excited. <coughs> the trusty craft knife. Just arrived today, it's very well packed. You can tell something's well packed if you shake it and you can't hear anything moving inside. That's how it should be. So... 
looks like. This is the way it's been packed, I believe. And the line down the middle. Cut straight through the invoice. Right. <coughs> Packed with old newspaper, which is perfectly good for most things. So I bought this vase recently in an in an auction, and uh, I was the only person bidding on it, so I got it for a ridiculously low price. Have to be a bit careful taking the bubble wrap off. Got seller tape all over it. Which makes it a bit, a bit tricky to uh, get into, but. Mind your fingers when you're using a craft knife. Because the blades are very sharp on them. So, uh, I haven't been buying much in the way of antiques lately because my eBay slowed down so um, <clears throat> you know the great motivation to buy more stuff is to sell stuff isn't it really I haven't got room and I can't afford to be a collector but anyway so this vase is a Noritake and I have to say, it's absolutely gorgeous, mate. And you wouldn't believe how little I paid for that, but um, it's much better than I expected. I was a little bit doubtful because the, uh, the chickens on it didn't look very good quality from the, from the photographs. But it's uh, much better than I expected, actually. The decoration on it is just perfect. That's quite a... That's a later Noritake, probably about... somewhere between 1920 and 1940. It's got the Noritake mark on it. It says Noritake made in Japan, made in Japan under here, Whoop. on the lower part of the mark. But if you get the mark without the made in Japan, it's earlier. So you can see the, the foot is quite clean and there's not a lot of wear on it. Still a very nice phase though, or vase in the UK. So I would hope to get around 200, 250 pounds for that. If I sold it on eBay, you can check out my eBay link in the description and I shall put it on there in due course. A little bit of wear on the handles, the gilding that always seems to uh, come off first. And so people hold it, I well, never hold them by the handles because it's also the most fragile part. Yeah, love that. Very happy about that. That'll go. Uh, that go nicely in my little collection over here. Just thought I'd share that with you because I know some of you like the uh, 
Japanese antiques. There's my Gyozan and my little Kinkazan teapot made by Torite. That's a Noritake as well. So that one and that one a Noritake. That's a Kasubi and that's a Katani. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to share that with you and share what a lovely day we're having in the UK. And I hope to see you all again soon. Give me a shout or uh, send me any suggestions of any videos you might like to see on my channel and I'll see what I can do. Right, that's it, guys. That's my little video. Have a beautiful day in your part of the world and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much for watching.